Vultures, the culture, something they been into. So if you never gave them a view, I recommend you do. Cause when they question guests, they message is not subliminal. People in my they community, but it also gave me the opportunity to work with the legendary Whoopi Goldberg, uh, Sissy Spacek, and um, and I was able to see what real filmmaking was about, to see what a real film was about, a real script. And then, you know, from there, God just Man, he really just continued to bless me, man. Like I did, you know, a couple um, independent um, films. And then I got, I was able to book um, Brewster Place uh, mm -hmm. with Oprah Winfrey. And um, it, it wasn't the women of Brewster Place, the, the miniseries with, with Jack A and with, with, uh, with Oprah. This, this was a, a spinoff of that miniseries that was turned into a series. Uh, unfortunately, it was short-lived. I think we were only on the air maybe like eight episodes, but it gave me the opportunity to work at home in Chicago with Oprah Winfrey, uh, work at Harpo Studios, which was an amazing experience. Uh, then from there, uh, I was fortunate enough and blessed to audition for the Jacksons miniseries where I, uh, where, uh, I got the opportunity to play Michael Jackson. And, uh, you know, that experience in itself, because uh, a lot of people ask me about that and but I've never had a chance to discuss it on your show. Man, I'm so, I just want to say, man, I'm so grateful to the Jackson family. If any member of the Jackson family happens to see this, um, thank y'all so much for the opportunity that y'all blessed me with. Mrs. Jackson, Mr. Jackson, God rest his soul. Jermaine, if you happen to see this, thank you so much because he was one of the producers. Um, Suzanne DePass, um, and especially Michael, God rest his soul, you know, Michael gave a kid from Chicago an opportunity that nobody was paying attention to. You know, out of thousands of kids that auditioned for that role around the world, uh, Michael Jackson saw something in me and gave me an opportunity for me to shine. And that's why, man, until my dying day, I will always, you know, express my, my most sincere and genuine gratitude to Michael. You know, regardless of whatever's out there, and we won't even get into all of that, but regardless of what whatever mainstream media uh, looks to present, you know, as far as his legacy, I can only speak on my personal uh, experience of interacting with him and his family. And uh, man, it was it was rewarding beyond what words can can express. And uh, I'm just genuinely thankful and appreciative for the opportunity that they gave me. Absolutely. Actually, Taj Jackson, um, Tito's son, he's been on the platform a couple of times. He's a fan of the show. And so is Brandy Jackson. So salute to the lineage of the Jacksons, oh, man. man. Well, nah, it, I mean, being that they all here, it, Todd, if you guys see this, man, Randy, any of you guys, man, like real shit, man. I, I really, really appreciate uh, everything that the Jackson family not only has, has done for me, uh, but the example that they set for black America. They, The Jackson family is, is black royalty. Mm -hmm. They gave us something to look to, to aspire to be. Let's Let's never not forget that. Let's not forget that, man. Like regardless of whatever they try to say, mainstream media tries to say and all that. Let's remember what the what the Jackson family represents for us, what they did for us, what they sacrificed for us, what they still represent now. Let let's salute them and respect them for that. Let's celebrate them for that. And you know, I and I, I just want to just say that, you know, from the bottom of my heart to the Jackson family, thank you guys so much. Real shit. That's dope. Definitely, definitely. Speaking of that, it's funny you say that because Kanye West came out today. I'm going to get your opinion on this. And he pretty much came out and said that the white media destroyed uh, Michael Jackson. He also put a couple other names in there. And he also said that uh, black media, you know, wouldn't destroy a white person in that way. What are your thoughts on what Kanye West said about Michael no, Jackson and white, white media? You know what? No disrespect, but I have. And he's from the shy. I have no thoughts on Kanye. And, and what he, um, the messaging that he's presenting, um, because I recognize that, um, respectfully, I recognize that he has challenges with mental health. Um, so there are things that he says from time to time um, 
that I don't know, I, I think are polarizing and there may be some truth in them, but I can't really, I can't really weigh them. I can't really weigh them in my mind uh, with a, with a great deal of, of importance or relevance because it's just like, he'll say something like that one minute and then he'll say something another minute. So just respectfully out of the fact that I know that this is something that is challenging for him. Uh, I just don't choose to, to, to comment on anything that Kanye has to say as it relates to anything. But what I will say as far as mainstream media's portrayal of uh, Michael Jackson and just black artists in general, uh, yeah, there's definitely some truth to that. Um, it seems like mainstream media does when, when the opportunity presents itself, uh, they will go hard in looking to knock that black celebrity off of their pedestal but here's what i'll also say and just in all fairness i see that shit happening on social media all the time even within our own community where mm. we try to knock each other off of a pedestal so you know the way i kind of look at it is like the life of a celebrity or the role that you play as an influencer or a celebrity um there's always going to be somebody looking to knock you down uh, whether it's mainstream media or it could be the person, uh, it could be the person next to you or somebody close to you. What I encourage um, black celebrities to do to the best of their ability is just to, you know, always be mindful of the 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 special role that you play um, in society and as it relates to representing your people. Um, be mindful of the things that you're saying. Uh, be mindful of the ways by which you're representing yourself. Be mindful of the things that you're saying as it relates to the community and the issues that affect us and recognize and respect the fact that when you put yourself out there in the forefront, whether it's on shows like this or whether it be on, um, or, or whether it, you know, be on your own platforms, you know, when you actively come out and say things, um, you have to recognize the fact that people are going to have a rebuttal or people are going to have an opinion about it, whether it be, you know, negative or positive. But the only thing that you can do to the best of your ability is just try to present yourself truthfully and present yourself uh, respectfully. Right. And I think if more people kind of embrace that kind of mindset, um, you won't, you won't see as much of that because a lot of the times when mainstream media targets like a black celebrity, and try to bring them down, try to bring that person down is really based off of something kind of that they kind of initiated themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like it seemingly at, at times, like, you know, case in point uh, with Nick, with, with my, with my brother, Nick Cannon. And I love Nick. That's, that's yeah. my dog. That's my brother. Nick is a, let me say this, Nick is a great guy. He's an awesome person. Um, and he has a good heart and his intentions are good not only for his immediate community, but for everybody. I know that for a fact, because I've worked with the man and I know the man. But unfortunately, based off of statements that he made that, you know, at that time were kind of misinformed or maybe came from a place of being uninformed, they just caused a huge backlash. And, you know, it caused all of these different people to comment on it and have something negative to say about it. And unfortunately, mainstream media really latched on to that and try to the best to the best of their ability to to really bring him down and drag him into the mud. And honestly, that could have been avoided. And so that I, I use that as an example to say to my other young um, black celebrities out there, influencers, you know, look, shit happens. We all make mistakes. We all say things from time to time that um, we may we may need to atone for, or that we may need to retract or maybe even apologize for. But just try to the best of y'all's ability to recognize that you do have a voice that is powerful, that you're influencing people and keep that in, at the forefront of your mind, whether you're on social media or whether you're walking out into the world, you are serving as an example. You know what I'm saying? You are serving as a representative of our community and just do, do your best to make the community proud and to represent the community in the right way. And so, you know, that that's my personal opinion about that. I'm sure there's some people that may disagree with that that's okay but that's kind of the way that i see it right when you were talking about michael jackson you made me think it's kind of coincidental that a lot of the atrocities they blamed him for a lot of them are being blamed for it now 
it's kind of coincidental. But well, like like the you know the negative. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, it's, I mean you know Michael Michael's situation too is really unique. Um, because I even heard an interview on um, and I think Taj may have given it on the Breakfast Club with Charlemagne the God. And, you know, he was saying due to Michael owning uh, Sony ATV in the, you know, the Beatles catalog and how he felt like um, there was a, a conspiracy, you know, to, to kill his uncle. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. There may there may be some some truth in that. I mean, there there have been times where uh, black men or women that have been in you know significant positions of power. It does seem like from time to time. If an opportunity presents itself, like it, if mainstream media can latch onto it, or the powers that be, they'll do whatever they can to try to dismantle that person.